with kind of like a top five video. I love watching people's like top five or like shop my stash or like favorite branded this or favorite that. I like watching those kind of things. So I'm going to try and do a couple like top five here and there of certain things like maybe drugstore or high end. Like today I'm going to do like my top five like drugstore lipsticks like brand wise um, formulas. I guess like the brand and formula. Um, not necessarily the color because I have multiple colors so I just kind of grabbed to show you like the brand and like the like um, the finish or formula or whatever. Sorry I was the dog distracted me. <laughs> so today I'm going to do like my top five drugstore lipsticks brands and then like I'll do like I'm thinking of doing like a high-end um, eyeshadow brands like the really high-end ones that I like that are you know a little more expensive than like Tarte or whatnot and maybe like favorite drugstore certain kinds if there's anything you want to see like of top five let me know down below um, but today it's gonna be drugstore lipsticks and then I want to do kind of like a shop my stash type favorite certain things in my stash videos as well so but today since I'm like already rambling on a tangent today all I'm gonna do is my top five drugstore brands I've said that like 10 million times already so let's just get started First one I have, um, I really like. Let me pull my sleeves up her, because I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. Because what would this video be without swatching? It's only five lipsticks. I got room for five lipsticks on my hands. Okay, this is the um, Rimmel lipstick, and this is I'm not sure what if this is like a moisturizing. Okay, it says lasting finish lipstick, but I have a couple um, from the Kate collection, and the ones that are from the Kate collection will they will say Kate from Rimmel here and these are like five six bucks they're not expensive um, I really really like the way they feel on my lips I like that they're pretty pigmented I like the finish of them this is one of my favorite fall colors this is Heather Shimmer it's a really pretty kind of mauve pinkish pretty color and it's got a bit of a shimmer to it it's really pretty but these Rimmel I mean like it is just so creamy it feels so good on my lips it is so pigmented there's a lot of items from Rimmel that I like, and they are really, really reasonable. Bugs like, for real. They are so weird. He's, they're sitting right there, and Pugsley has this weird thing where he likes to lick his brother's armpits. Like, he'll just sit there for like five, ten minutes, nonstop, and lick him. And Checker sits there like, yeah, yeah, lick me, lick me. And then Checker's just sitting there against the wall letting him lick him, and he's just looking back at me like, yeah, you say my name? <laughs> Weirdos. I love my weirdos. Okay. Anyway, so back to the point, because I get distracted when these two that follow me around everywhere cannot handle if I shut the door or don't let them in this room or anywhere near me. If they can't see me, they freak out. So any of the Rimmel lipsticks are good, but I really like the color selection and the way that Kate uh, line feels. Um, and like I said, this color is just absolutely stunning. I mean, you can see how pigmented that is. I mean, it is just, it feels great on the lips. They are so pigmented, and really a lot of the Rimmel stuff is really great. The next one I have is the um, Super Lustri Lustri Lustrious, Lustrous from Revlon. There's a couple different Revlons that I like, but um, this is in the color Mobby Night. This one, especially from this specific one, like they are so freaking creamy. Now, to me, it's not as pigmented as the Rimmel, um, but it is super creamy and it's got kind of like a gloss finish. It is just, it is so pretty. That's the color. Um, it is just gorgeous, and it glides on, and it's just so creamy, and it almost feels like a MAC luster or a frost almost. Like, it's not real pigmented. Like, it's not as pigmented as the Rimmel, but it's just got a really nice creaminess to it and just kind of a really nice shine to it. So it's, it's similar to me to, like, a luster or a frost, probably more of a luster. It's very similar to that, and these are not very expensive, um, these Revlon ones either. So that is another one. And then another one are the Milani's. The Milani's are absolutely great. Now I have these in matte and creamy. I think this one's a creamy one. Um, this is in the color Pretty Natural. It's a really pretty pink. Um, these Milani lipsticks are really great priced. They're creamy and they're pigmented. And their matte lipsticks are really good too. Not as good as the Maybelline ones. Those are some of my favorite matte lipsticks. But... Um, these Milani lipsticks are amazing lipsticks. I really like pretty much every formula I've tried I've liked. Um, this doesn't say, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is not a matte one because I think my matte one actually, I 
get my matte ones in my purse. I'm just trying to, yeah, this one that's matte, okay, I'll swatch this one. Yeah, that was just the creamy one, because there's my matte one. The matte one I have is called Matte Naked, and it's also a really pretty color. But, like, do you see how pigmented, like, any of these Milani, like, at all, hands down, these Milani lipsticks for the money, they're great. And their eyeshadows are really good, too. Um, but, yeah, the Milani, definitely. Still, I think the Rimmel beats all as far as pigmentation. Um, I just think that's really pigmented. But as far as matte, that's a pretty good matte lip. It's probably my second favorite compared to the Maybelline. I think the Maybelline is way more um, pigmented than this one. That's why I kind of lean more towards the Maybelline. The Maybelline really, I don't know if the companies like or, like own each other or what, but Maybelline really rem reminds me of Tom Ford, like, a lot. So I could probably, I mean, it's probably almost a dupe. Um, my next, um, I like a lot of the e.l.f. lipsticks. But my favorite one on my lips is the moisturizing. And I mean, for $3, you can't beat it. And this one's in the color Ravishing Rose. I don't know if I have enough room on my hand here. And this one reminds me also, the moisturizing one, very similar to a Luster or Frost, probably a Luster of MAC, because it's kind of got that shine to it. Um, not as pigmented again, but still it's got, I can't figure out where, it's got that kind of shine to it and just feels so creamy and really, really good on the lips. So that is an absolute wonderful, wonderful lipstick. Now I also have, see I said top five and here I go grab more, but it's still the same brand, so that's okay. You little weird lickers. Um, these little matte lips, e.l.f. ones are really good too. Um, and what I like about them is like they're little sticks. You can like really kind of like line and then fill in. So you kind of have an all-in-one here. Um, to me, they're more drawing than the Maybelline. But they still have the same lasting power. So I like them too. Really, there's a lot of the e.l.f. lipsticks that I do like. So really, I guess this is kind of my top five drugstore lipstick brands in general. Um, but out of the Revlon and the Kate, that's the only ones that I've tried that I really, really like from that same collection. Like I'll go buy a color, love it, and go get a couple more colors in that same collection because I like the way it feels in my lips. But um, the matte ones are not bad either from e.l.f. e.l.f.'s a really, really great brand. And for $3, I mean, really guys, $3. Okay, of course you guys knew this was gonna be on here because you know how I feel about my Maybelline. And I have a lot of Maybelline. This is one of the mattes. This was in another video recently, I think. This is Blushing Pout. Um, these mattes are so crazy, like, smooth and pigmented like okay you can kind of see I don't know if you can tell there's kind of some blotches in the matte um, Milani but then you have the matte Maybelline here and I mean like the opacity of it and let's let's just for grins and giggles I'm gonna swatch if I can because I'm not left-handed I'm gonna swatch my Tom Ford pussycat and my Maybelline so just you can see how like compared to a high-end one, like how opaque, and that's, let me see if I have, a, I have a darker color matte. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Where's my, ah, oh, touch of spice. This is another matte from a Maybelline. It'll show up better. You can just, if I don't have my hand bent like that, like there's no patchy at all. Like here's Tom Ford. Okay. So, why is holding my hand in front of a camera so challenging? <laughs> Seriously, Tracy. Okay. So this is the Tom Ford and these are the Maybellines. And if you can tell, I mean, they are all three so pigmented. They collide on. They're creamy. I mean, by far, Maybelline. I mean, I have a, quite a couple other. I have a lot of the matte Maybellines. But I have other formulas too. The matte's just my favorite. I don't even know what formula this is. Stormy Sahara. But it's not a matte one. It's it's pretty kind of glossy finish. Um, but it is just they are so cracking me up. Sniffing each other's faces. It looks like they're like kissing because like you know they're flat and they're just kind of they're best friends. They're so cute. <laughs> anyway, so um, this just seems the Milani just a little more patchy in spots. Um, but these are just so opaque, and I mean you you just can't really tell the difference. They're all so opaque, and they feel so great on the lips. I mean, the pigment is there. I mean, Maybelline got it right with these. These are some excellent, excellent lipsticks. And Touch of Spice and um, is one of my favorites for fall. And then um, Blushing Pout's also a really good one. And 
Lust for Blush is the other matte one that I have that I really like, just in case you want to know. But um, anyway, so these are all of my colors, in case you didn't see them all. Um, I love all of them. Again, I just touched that and got it all over my fingers. Um, again, Revlon, um, the Lustrous, the Kate, Rimmel, any really, any of the elves are great, but I really love the moisturizing. The Milani's, Milani makes excellent, excellent lipstick. I mean, these are all just the my go-to, like, if I'm going to get a drugstore lipstick, these are the brands, the top five brands that I would go for first. And they're all under $10. So definitely worth the splurge, in my opinion. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed one of my first top five series. There'll be more to come of all sorts of different top five. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe so that um, anytime I have a new video, it shows up in your feed. And thumbs up my video if you liked it. And comment down below and let me know any other videos that you'd like to see. Thanks for watching. Bye.